Hello, this is not a spring chicken. If you're wondering what in the world happened to us, oh my gosh, it's been just a little bit of time. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so we've been a little bit busy with a Sundance, Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah. And see, part of it is we would qualify as a newbie. In other words, we had no clue. Um, we had a little bit of clue beforehand. Um, they did say, you do you want to stay in town for Park City? Well, Park City is a sprawling city and Mm, let's just say it's a sprawling city and with adverse weather conditions and a lack of snow shovels it's a little bit more difficult to get around than you would expect um, but we could write a whole book on the ordeals you go through on that couldn't we especially when I know this sounds like really kind of silly especially when you're not used to that because I'm you know I'm from Southern California um, so some of the things even though you are warned about them um, you kind of forget, you know, for example, oh wait, I guess we better get back to Old Cam, right? Okay, so we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. The drone one's a good one, though. I like that one. And Obama has told the Justice Department to stall. Well, because... There's, 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 our, there's our mad flying Obama. No, what happened is Obama is running against the Congress of the United States. The Congress of the United States is... The people don't care about the fact that his Justice Department basically was responsible for the death of a lot of people, broke the laws and stuff. All they're concerned about is that we need to create jobs and Congress isn't so. Congress, and the Justice Department is no longer going to cooperate with Congress. What? Yeah. And they said that, uh, oh, that hell works. That, I, I did it wrong. So, as it goes twice to the air. <laughs> she's better at that. She's, she, well, we've got a bunch of them. But, um, he, he, okay, they said, how do you know that Obama is totally naive about the... He's a lawyer, and he doesn't know how the things work. You know what they're going to do? What? They're going to call the, the people up in front of them and ask them embarrassing questions and have them take the Fifth Amendment. They're going to call... They said, um, uh, I love this, uh, there's one of the people who said, uh, former judge, they said, what we'll do is we'll call Eric Holder. And he said, did you enjoy raping that 13-year-old last night? And uh, I have, I take the Fifth Amendment. Oh, well, how about you and those two kids that you were playing with? Both of them were boys. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, and then they'll have, a, they'll have mm -hmm. older say, I refuse to answer these questions. And they're going to push all of their buttons. And they're going to, they said they're going to make the Obama people look like assholes to the whole world. And uh, this is what you do when they won't ask, when, when you know they're going to take the Fifth Amendment. Oh, I understand you have a good time beating your wife. Mm -hmm. And then you have to say, I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that might incriminate me, which means he is saying that I beat my wife. Mm -hmm. Or, well, you know, you know, did you, did you really? Do, uh, I, this, I love this. I was back in the McCarthy hearing days. I watched television then. And, and here's one of the questions I love. When you robbed that bank, did you get a thrill out of killing the, teller, the, the bank teller? Um, and I refuse to answer that grounds on the ground. And so, what, you know what it means? The guy is basically admitting he robbed the bank and got a thrill out of killing a teller. They ruined their lives, so. And you know it's a slow news day when, on the front page, the new drone is pilotless, so who's accountable? Folks, it's on the front page. Folks, do you know what a drone, do you know what a drone is? A drone is a pilotless <laughs> device, and that's the front page of the newspaper. This drone has no pilot. Well, all drones have no pilots. I know. Uh, and it, okay, I know the public, I know where this came from, so you know the people actually are not that stupid. They just don't have any news because they know that a drone has no pilot. And then on well, the front page, pilotless drone is flown by Navy. That, I know. That, see, we're getting our own little boop boop. I know, and the fight is on for Florida Latino vote. Okay. I mean, um, I, I hate to tell people, <laughs> they're not going to get the Latino vote in the primaries. <laughs> it isn't going to happen. So, I know, but isn't that ridiculous? You can fight. <coughs> I know, we play with that. We've got to rear the battery out on them. Uh-huh. Although it says, though still lagging, Romney and Gingrich appear to be gaining, especially among Cuban-Americans. Okay. You know, how are you going to get the Cuban-American vote Whomever is going to be the presidential nominee is going to nominate Mark Rubio for the vice president of the United States. Yep, that'll do and it. And they're going to try to win the election on Rubio. 
not by anybody else because um, Rubio is a first, he's basically in his first term as senator, which means if he runs for vice president, he doesn't have anything to worry about because he be, then becomes the fair hair. If they lose it, guess who gets to be the next presidential nominee uh, in, in six years, four years? It becomes Rubio. And so Malia Ray shows the extent of the U.S. reach. Uh, it's basically, they sent the ever-famous SEAL Team 6, who no one is supposed to know about, who is a secret operation, but Obama uses as a PR tool. Are you serious? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I, I saw one of the people from SEAL Team 6, basically, he resigned and said, we got a, you know, basically, he said, an effing president who wants to get us all killed along with our families. Well, oh. they have these great big SEAL oh. Team 6 who are supposed to be secret operatives. Ah. Uh. And rough road for Obama housing plan. Yeah. Well, Obama wants the banks to, to refund all of the money that they charge people on the homes that they sold to people. Uh, was it? They want a deal for $25 billion to make up for all those people that got foreclosed. You know, but give them brand new homes, put them in things. That will solve the housing market. The, the banks would then, therefore, give everybody that didn't pay their bills a brand new home for nothing. Are you serious? And then uh, here's what one of the news reporters on the left said, I've been underwater since this man became president. He's going to give my goddamn neighbor his home for nothing. Mm -hmm. He said, guess who's not going to get my... I love it. There's an awful lot of effing about this president by everybody. And then Fed to keep its interest rates low. Yeah. And uh, right after they made that announcement, the, uh, the Geithner said over at the Treasury Department, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be here next year or so. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, because they know that the, the Federal... Okay. They said Geithner and, and Bernanke are just, you know, the, our money is worthless. They just keep full well. We're going to another trillion dollars in debt. I think we should go print off two trillion dollars of money. Therefore, we didn't spend any money. Mm. Brilliant, isn't it? And plan to close a movie fund home reversed, um, and the Motion Picture and Television Fund has reversed, and they are now accepting new residents. Yeah. Okay. They wanted to sell the property off because it was worth a lot of money. Okay. Uh, Leslie Nielsen's grandfather, I think, was. Um, uh, the founder of the Motion Picture Academy Arts and Sciences Home. The thing was there, it was never meant to be sold. You know what it was? Well, we're spending a lot of money to keep these old people in there. Well, I'm one of those old people that could be there, folks. And, uh, well, if we keep spending money on old farts, we're not going to have any money to do the things. Uh, the fund is never supposed to be looted for any other purpose. There, the motion picture fund is for the funding of the place. It is for the funding of the hospital. That's why they have the big fundraisers. Fundraisers bring in lots of money. Yet, well, the land is worth so much money. It's not like, you know, that 88-year-old person contributed anything. Well, maybe five, six Academy Awards, you know, brilliant performances. You know, a, a lot of people I knew, I mean, uh, Mary Astor was there. I think Patrick Knowles was there. Um, you know, a lot of older people, you know why they went there even though they had money? Why? Because they didn't know anybody else their age anymore. They went to be with the people that they knew that they could talk to. Um, I mean, it, it, when you get to be a certain age in this industry, uh, I can, well, Joyce has been there. Uh, when I went to one of these events, and they'll, they'll say, hey, you know, I haven't seen you in 20 years. What are you doing? And, well, I'm working every day. Said, yeah, I get that. I got that from a well-known person over at that. That's, I can't tell you what his name is, but they used to call him Bobby when he was younger. Mm -hmm. And he gave me the ever-famous, no, hey, what are you doing? You know, I haven't seen you since the Virginian. They said, well, I'm working every day. And I got that. <laughs> That's a common thing for people in their 70s towards me, is F you. <laughs> but they, they, a lot of them are not working because they choose not to work. Um, I don't know, I, I'm going to invest a bit. Well, uh, my father knew Randolph Scott, and I basically got to meet him. When Randolph Scott did his last movie, I think, Joe McCray said, you know, uh, you know that Randolph Scott said, Joe McCray said, my father worked on a production, he said, you know, I, I'm not going to work anywhere after this because they don't make movies like they used to. And then Joel McCray basically was, was heard to say, well, it's probably because you don't want to make them. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why. Don't blame the new people if you stop working, folks. And stores gear up for car chargers. 
as more retail centers are installing, in, installing stations for customers to plug in electric vehicles. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> we, you see them anywhere? We, we're, we're, in the, we're in the green car capital universe. Try <coughs> finding a place to plug your car in. They're taking them out. Only thing is Costco. Yeah, actually Costco doesn't work, I don't think. Oh, why? Remember, it's a paddle put in. It's not um, a plug-in, it's a paddle. And Obama hardens tone on China. Oh, I can... Anyway, wait, I don't have my... Anybody got me. Hey, who owns all our debt? Uh-huh. Who does he have to get permission from uh -huh. to get tough, 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 yeah, yeah, That's really a believable one. Do you know, we're going to make those people pay. Well, since they own all our debt, that's really a tough dance, folks. <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, here's the, oh, there's a, there's a thing play on. Okay, you're only as old as you feel. Well, no, you're only as young as you feel. <laughs> <laughs>